Hey everyone, it's Tyler Stroke, Universal Rackets, and today we're going to be working on how to hit an open stance forehand. If you guys stay tuned for this whole video, then in less than 10 minutes, you're going to learn how to hit this open stance shot. So first, what is an open stance forehand? Typically in tennis, what a lot of players are taught to do, the first thing that they do is step into the ball and hit, okay? This is a closed stance forehand. Again, when I hit a closed stance, I'm stepping into the ball. If you ever step into the ball, that's a closed stance forehand, and then you're going to swing. Or maybe not every time, because if you step into the ball, not straight ahead, but maybe more over here, maybe more over here, that could be a semi open stance, okay? An open stance is when you don't step into the ball, okay? So it's going to be when I look like this. Again, when I hit this open stance, it's going to look like this, okay? I'm not stepping with my non dominant leg, okay? Now, why do you want to use an open stance? Because it takes more time to step into the ball. If you play open stance, number one, you can be much more efficient. You don't have to move as much, right, to get to the ball. And number two, it can be a pretty effective shot when you're moving out wide. You generally don't want to move and hit an open stance ball when you're moving up to the ball. But if you're ever moving out wide to the ball, if you're ever playing a fast paced game, this is a perfect shot to do. Think, if I'm going out to the ball, instead of having to go like this, go like this, and then go like this, what can I do? I can go out to the ball, I can hit, boom, and I can just push off back. Again, instead of going out to the ball and stepping, I can go here and boom and swing and step, okay? So how do we hit an open stance? It's very easy. First, step number one, you have to make sure that you turn. If you hit an open stance forehand, you need to make sure that you turn your body. A lot of players, they go wrong with their open stance. They spray it long because they're going like this when they hit. They have no turn. I'll turn to you guys. They're swinging like this, and this is why you can't hit an open stance. Even though you're not stepping, you still have to make sure that you turn. Now, notice my hips, they're not all the way turned like they're closed, but when I turn, I want my shoulders turned, okay? I wanna really feel like I coil my body. I feel tension in my obliques. Look, my top of my body's turned and I am here, okay? I want you to pretend that you have a logo on your shirt, okay? Every single time that you hit an open stance shot, you should not be seeing that logo on your shirt. You can't see my logo on my shirt now. Now you can, this is what most people do. You wanna be like here. Now, how do we ensure that we turn every single time? It's very easy. Push the racket back with your non-dominant hand. I want you to think, instead of me taking my racket back with my right hand, I'm pushing the racket back with my non-dominant hand. This hand is doing all the work to ensure that I'm turned. Now, after I'm turned, what you're going to do is you're going to load on your outside leg. Again, so step number one, you're going to turn your body. Step number two, you're going to load on your outside leg. I want you to think on the second step, all of your weight is on your outside leg to the point that you can bounce up and down on it. Now, after you load on your outside leg, okay, this is step number two, all your weight's in the ground, right? Now step number three, and I'm getting a little bit quick, but after you load on your leg, you're going to push off your leg and you're going to explode and follow through. So again, step number one, you're going to turn, push the racket back, I'm turning my shoulders. Step number two, you're going to load. Step number three, you're going to explode off your leg, okay? I want you to think, in order to get from step number two to three, all you're doing is you're pushing in the ground and off the ground. All the power comes from the ground up, okay? So again, you're going to turn, step number one. Step number two, you're going to load. You're gonna feel all your power push into the ground, and then you're gonna push off, and you're going to hit. You're literally going down and up, down and up. Same thing for the back, right? Down and up, down and up, okay? Now, after you swing, you have to make sure that you keep your body down. A lot of players, what they'll do is they'll turn, they'll load, and then they'll pop their body up. I need to make sure I turn, I get my body down in my outside leg, and then I push off, and look, I'm still keeping my head down. I want you to think you have a ceiling on top of your head. I can't put my head above the ceiling. I gotta keep my head below the ceiling at all times, okay? So we're going to get a couple balls and we're going to demonstrate it, okay? So again, we're going to step number one, we're going to turn. Step number two, we're gonna load and we're going to explode and keep my body down. Again, step number one, turn. Step number two, load. That's bad feed. Step number two, load. And step number three, explode. 
That is how you hit an open stance forehand. Now, after you guys get the steps, then we have to put it with the timing. You actually have to start moving to the ball, but that is a great way to start to learn how to do it. Just go through steps, turn, load, and explode, okay? So it's gonna look like this when you're moving. Turn, load, and explode. Now, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comments below. Make sure to check out my eBooks. Make sure to subscribe to me. If this helped you, or if you absolutely hate this video, please let me know. Make sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Tennis with Tyler, and I'll see you guys next time.